guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am here today in my official, official ambassador's t-shirt. You know what I should be? I should be, I should be like a mascot. You know, like those, you know, large, like, ducks or beavers that you see at like the football games. Not a duck, but you know what I mean, with like, the finger, the foam finger, or just the big foam outfit. I should be a mascot. Like a giant handbag. I am here today with my fashion file collection video. I totally thought of doing this video because, look, I've acquired enough to create, I guess, a collection from the one and only fashionfile.com. I'm a fashion file blogger. I am affiliated with them. They do not send me any of these handbags for free. I absolutely wish they did. They don't. I'm just simply affiliated with them. I talk about them. I blog about them. I love them. I think truthfully, hands down, I mean, the caliber of their product in their online site is just none other. I haven't had the chance to get over to the United States to go into their boutiques, but they do have office boutiques with uh, um, dumb waiters that bring the items down from the storage, obviously, because they've got so much storage. Uh, and you can look over the item and decide to purchase it or not. Like, dream come true to see their boutiques. But for the little old me down here in Australia, buying with fashion file online there are a couple of things that i do want to tell you so the first thing i want to tell you about fashion file the most asked question i get is why are their prices so high um firstly the whole site is in usd it's in um uh united states currency and you can't convert it to c or whatnot it is just in usd a lot of people feel that they're really hiked prices and they overprice and things like that. But what I'm going to tell you about this website and what I have worked out through my multiple purchases is that what you are actually getting versus buying, I guess, I'm not trying to put eBay down, but maybe buying through eBay or buying, you know, from a seller that you don't really know and like you you know you try to ask so many questions but it's you know it's it's a little bit difficult like my first question i ever ask sellers is does the bag have odor that is my number one thing because i've run into that into the part in the past and girl i don't want to do it anymore so that is definitely my number one thing i ask and i can almost guarantee you unless it is well stated on their listing of that item on fashionfile.com they are always in neutral smell condition almost like all the same it's almost like they spray the storage with like a neutralizer so that the handbags smell like nothing it's amazing so it's almost like getting a new bag because it doesn't smell like someone's worn it i'm going to tell you another thing you can go on other consignment stores, you know, Yugi's Closet and all those, all the other different sites that there are. And there are multiple, Tradies, um, Vestiaire Collective, all the different ones that there are. But you will probably, you know, say probably, not find the type of stock that Fashion File has. They, I will look on like an eBay seller, so like a Japan consignment store that I follow, and I'll look through the listings, and you know, it's more like older Louis Vuitton styles or older Chanel styles. Whereas when you look on Fashion File, this is stuff that is selling right now. Like, right now. They have a lot of Supreme on the site. Like, that just released, you know, and sold out instantly, but that is on the site. Like, it's very current, and I feel like that is worth the dollar as well because some collections you simply can't get your hands on like i bet you any money very shortly there will be a rocket ship chanel handbag on fashionfile.com and it will be squillions because you can't get them you just cannot get them my holy grail things to achieve from fashion file would to be any hermes bag from them 
they have the most beautiful array of Hermes bags from all of the different, you know, styles and prices and color range and just, it's just out of this world, the amount of stock that this site has. On to shipping, international shipping, fantastic. Your import tax, whatever country you're from, and trust me, now that I've been doing daily vlogging, guys, we talked about import tax in other countries, and the Australians should not be whinging because, look, one of my subbies told me that in Brazil it's like 80% income tax, sorry, 80% import tax, and in Australia it is GST, so it is 10% on top of your purchase if your purchase is over 1000 Australian dollars. So say you see, you know, a nice click clack from Hermes on Fashion File, that is under 1000 you uh, 1000 Australian dollars. It's going to just go straight past customs and you're not going to get an import, you know, letter in your mailbox. If your item gets stopped. And I've had items stopped. I know my GST was stopped. I paid tax on that and Two others were stopped, I can't really remember. But my tip on that in my How I Afford Luxury was to save for your tax as well. It is tax that you would pay, you know, as general sales tax anyway, 10%. So save for it as well, and that way you have it, and that way if you're billed or not billed, you you have it to pay the bill. That is my major tip with Fashion Park, so I get asked so much about import tax. You've really got to change your mentality on import tax. It's not a bad thing. It is sales tax that you pay in this country anyway on every single item that you buy. GST is included or added. So that's all they're doing. The government is just adding it to what you're buying from outside of the country. And obviously you want to try and get out of it so that it's cheaper. But look, play by the rules and everyone's, no one gets hurt, right? Okay, so they are my two things I wanna say about Fashion Files straight up. The third thing is condition. I get asked a lot about their conditions and what they say. I have said this before, people, but I truthfully believe they underrate. So if something says good, just the word good, that's probably their lowest, or they really will note damaged, like this stitching is broken, this is ripped off, doesn't come with strap, doesn't come with this, this is broken, they'll really mention that. But upwards from good, like, I don't even, I'll show you what was like very good and you'll just be like, wow, well, girl, like that looks new. And then there's excellent and then new with tags. So I feel they underrated. I feel like every item I've ever got, I'm like, look, doesn't even seem like someone used this item. That's how it comes across. Okay, like most resale items, I always say and have always said, try and get everything. So try and get as much as possible. That way, it's almost, you know, similar to buying it new. You get all the bibs and bobs. You get the box, the ribbon, the strap, the whatever, the luggage tag. Because it's all inclusive. A lot of people don't care about that stuff, but that is also part of luxury. The packaging, the display, the presentation, that is very much part of luxury. The one thing I always try to go for is a dust bag, definitely, so it can be protected, and I love to have a box. So I really make sure I sift through the listings if I do like them, that it has those options. Do you know I had to go back and check my fashion file account, which I'll show you at the end. But I am going to start with my two SLGs. This I did not purchase. It will have an asterisk next to it in the down bar because this was my 30th birthday present from the founder and CEO, Sarah, of fashionfile.com. She gifted me this beautiful Louis Vuitton Verney clay in the amaranth color, which is my all time favorite. Next to Pomme de Mor, Verney color. It is absolutely stunning in person and in the light. It just shines. It's very similar actually to the Magnetic Noir. It's got a real sparkle in it. So it's got one pocket on the back and this guy was made in France. My second and last SLG is this guy. I wanted a Damier Ebin long wallet really badly. 
I went to Serena at Louis Vuitton Bondi Junction and saw the Damieri bin with red lining insulate wallet and decided to pass on it and buy another wallet and it was the biggest mistake I ever made. I kick myself every day that I did not buy that insulate wallet because now they're discontinued. You can't find them new anywhere. There's a lot on the resale market and I probably one day might make, you know, that step and get it from the resale but honestly... It irritated me. I knew that a handbag was coming in Demi Urban and I wanted to be matchy matchy. So first up I picked up this and this is the Louis Vuitton Demi Urban Josephine wallet. And this was in the new envelope shape and I really wanted it with the brass button. I didn't want it with a coloured button to have coloured interior. So it is just one and it is a trifold. And this was listed, this was listed in good. So you can see that the pockets are a little stretched out. There's no damage. All the glazing is intact. And it was listed as good. So really crazy. I really think they underlist it. Next item from Fashion File was also a gift that you just saw. Me unbox. I have not seen it since I unboxed it with you guys. And I am getting so many questions as to why. The answer is because have you not noticed my life? I am vlogging every single day and I'm the type of person who likes to sort of, you know, mellow and get used to the item and, you know, just sort of look at it for a while before I put it on my phone. Um, I don't know, like I'm just, yeah, I'm still sort of getting used to the idea. It will go on my phone. I'm just, let me get through Vlogtober. That's the first thing. But this was a gorgeous surprise, just massive, like, you know, earth shattering surprise. You saw my reaction in that video, a gift from Sarah from Fashion File. She gifted me this gorgeous, uh, iPhone 7 Plus trunk case for your iPhone 7 Plus in monogram reverse and as I said it's actually a piece of monogram reverse canvas. She gifted this to me. I'm still in so much shock about it and I will um, be using it and putting it on my phone absolutely. So many people are concerned. They're like, don't you like it? Of course I like it. Are you kidding me? Okay, let me show you. Actually, let me show you now my um, fashion file uh, account. So this is a fashion file website. Hopefully you can see and that is showing you my account and it will show you, you know, you have your favorites and you have your past purchases. If you've sold on their site, you have your, all your sales will be listed as well, but everything you've ever bought is listed in here, which is fantastic. So in June 4th, 2014, is when I did in fact buy the Chanel Iridescent Calfskin VIP Flap in black. Uh, probably June, so by the October of 2014 and sell that handbag because I wanted to get this handbag. So I've got it here in September 26, 2014. This bad boy came into my life and you've heard the story many, many times on this medium to large Chanel Le Boy bag in the black calfskin leather, large quilting, ruthenium hardware, and it is just my, you know, <laughs> pie in my eye. I love this bag. It is so beautiful. I need to get it out again, but yes. So this was my birthday present for my 30th birthday to myself from fashionfile.com. This is so handy, so I can go back and get it all completely right. Then, February 4th, 2015, came this guy, <laughs> and this is my Chanel GST Grand Shopper Tote in caviar leather black with gold hardware, and this was listed as, this was listed as very good, but this is exactly how I wanted it. The GST can be quite stiff when it first comes if you buy brand new from the boutique. Well, it's discontinued now, but when you could. And this is definitely how I wanted it. I want it to have a little mush, a little bit mushy, and it's gorgeous. So this is my Chanel GST. Almost at exactly the same time, 
February the 25th. I absolutely scored on this. I It was such a find. This is my Chanel classic flap in the jumbo size with the cat black caviar leather and gold hardware but it is the 2009 single flap design so it's not the double flap jumbo that's really really heavy it's just one single flap and when I saw this listing come up they do come up quite often on fashion files so you can look out for them uh, but when I saw this listing come up and it was just in such amazing condition and I think it was listed as very good but guys honestly when this arrived if you saw that unboxing I just lost it it is just in such immaculate condition you know no scratching no buckling it's just beautiful and so when they both came together I was just like what so this is so cool to do it this way and then what did I do okay then November 10th 2015 I got this guy I in in 2000 in the end of 2015 obviously I realized that I loved Damier Azure I had bought the Damier Azure pochette accessoire and I brand new and I sold it because I just I think I was so traumatized from my Syracuse MM that I had got transfer on that I just didn't want to deal with that again. So I sold it and I missed Azure because it's so fresh. It's so French Riviera, which is what it's based on uh, with the blue and the cream. And it is so gorgeous. And I thought, I know, I'll do it in a pre-loved item where it's pre-patinaed and used beautiful patina I mean it's just honey color it's not too dark at all and when I got this you know I looked at the base that can usually have a lot of water stains on it I just I mean it was just beautiful there you go that is the Balenciaga that I did in fact unbox and show you guys but then decide look it probably wasn't really for me <laughs> and sent that back for a credit okay next up this guy this was what <laughs> this was what inspired me to get a longer Damier bin wallet I have my zippy compact Damier bin but I wanted more longer a longer sort of style this is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier Ebin. And this is the original Neverfull. And I forever will purchase original Neverfulls off the resale market. I will not buy a new Neverfull. I just don't like them. Even with the pouch. I have bought the pouch separately from a subby. Hi Stacy, to match this on its own. Because I don't like the interior. I find it really sterile. I don't like the straight font. I love the cursive font that the older style has, like the Voyager. I think that is just so vintage and beautiful, the cursive. And I love seeing the fleur-de-lis inside the pinstripe. I think that's just so pretty. So I, if I ever wanted to get a Damier Azure in the future, I would definitely look on Fashion File as a resale, you know, version because I don't like the new Never The last bag I'm going to show you guys was this. This was my repurchased Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in all over classic monogram. And this is the newer model. If you know the story, you know the story without the tassel. I had the original model. I repurchased this from Fashion File. I could not be happier. The Pochette Matisse is the most user-friendly little bag. And if you're considering on getting it, get on that wait list. If it's a wait list, get on it because it, more will come in because it's such a fantastic bag. Hey guys, that brings me to the end of my fashionfile.com collection video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my items that I have purchased from fashionfile.com. I hope you also like hearing, you know, my information on Fashion File and my tips and things that I, how I see the site. And uh, yeah, just realizing that 
The other thing is you get authenticity for life. If ever there was a mess up, which trust me, they have like seven people in their authenticity, like authentication team running over that item like it gets passed on. If you ever came across a mistake, which is so rare, if any, you can send it back, say I've proven non-authentic and they will obviously refund you. They guarantee you that for life. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys, there is a button below with a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you will get notifications of all my new videos. I hope everybody is doing really well guys. See you in my next video. Take care. Peace.